Welcome to another edition of All My Dreads, and we're going to be talking about a lot of crazy stuff sir, today. And sir, what? sir, I'm looking for my girlfriend. Sir, do you know where she's? I think I wait. Wait one second. Where are you? Is this your girlfriend? Yes, she's my girlfriend. Uh, thank you so much. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, where were you? You were supposed to meet me at eight. Just shut up. This is a joke or something. Come, come. Let's just begin. So basically, this six-month-old kid from Wisconsin, America, consumed two shots of vodka, and this was given to her by her mom. Scary, I know. But then uh, the mom, she thought she was giving her water with baby formula. Wait, firstly, what's baby formula? Okay, anyways, leaving that aside, I'll tell you what happened. So basically, the mom, she filled a bottle of water, kept it on the kitchen counter, went to do her mommy work, and then the dad came in, he emptied the bottle of water because he wanted to fill it with vodka and take it to a friend's place. Then the dad left because he wanted to do some daddy work, and then the mom came back, and thinking that there is water in the bottle, she mixed it with baby formula and gave it to the kid, and then the kid just became a mini Dean Martin. I mean, it's scary. Like, what next? Firstly, they mix uh, vodka with water, so next they're going to, like, goof up with cocaine for baby powder? I think we have some footage of the baby doing some crazy stuff at that point in time. So let's hope the baby doesn't turn out like Drew Barrymore or if they leave him home alone then he might turn out to be like Macaulay Culkin. Talking about movies, uh, a few directors are thinking of making a movie on this kid and they're calling it Babies Out. Oh wait, uh, news just in, the baby is running for presidency in 2020. So dirty. So basically, there's a guy who claims that he has not taken a bath for 12 years. 12 years, that's how long I've had my dreads, okay? So this guy's name is David Whitlock and he is a chemical engineer and he has not taken bath for 12 years because he says he's using this probiotic spray, which is a bacterial spray that is kind of created by his company called AO Biome. And uh, this spray is supposed to be sprayed on the body twice a day and is made for people specifically who want to stop using soaps. I mean, imagine the kind of money he has saved and not using soaps and shampoos for so long. But then, uh, who am I to comment on that? Leaving that aside, this guy might be a sure shot hip. <laughs> this guy might be a sure shot hit among the ladies, right? I mean, just imagine him entering the bank and then the lady on the counter being like, "Sir, please, please take all our money. Just take this and get out of here." Or him when entering the plane, suddenly the gas mask or the oxygen mask fall down because the cabin pressure has dropped. I think we have an animated representation of his day in his life. In flowers will stray who yeah! keep these showers away and if I kiss you in the garden in the moonlight So looking at this guy, remember this other chap who is kind of 80 years old and hasn't taken a bath for 60 years must be his grandfather or his senior professor but then this guy is so dirty that he smokes some real shit he actually smokes animal feces <laughs> Anyways, we have some footage of uh, David's dog who also doesn't like water in the same way. I can't believe he's not like just giving up on uh, I think I'll have to take a bath after this news piece. Shower? So basically, PETA has gone ahead and filed a lawsuit against a British photographer claiming that a rare monkey that kind of clicked a green selfie that got famous needs to be paid in damages for copyright infringement because this pic was used in a wildlife book. This grinning smile is very similar to the kind of smile my fellow employee gave to me because he got a better raise than me. But that's a different question, his wife died in the next week. But uh, leaving that aside, uh, this monkey's name is Naruto and he's six years old. He lives in a reserve in Indonesia and uh, he clicked these pictures uh, from the camera that was left unattended by the British photographer four years back. Who leaves your camera unattended in a reserve? This is bound to happen, right? And uh, just imagine if looking at this lawsuit, what if other animals come up and file similar lawsuits against photographers from Nat Geo? Like, look at these selfies. This one, this one, this one definitely, and look at this one. This animal definitely needs to claim for a lawsuit, yaar. And how much do you pay this monkey in damages? Like 2.5 million bananas? I think we spoke to his lawyer. Let's see what he has to say about that. <laughs> So as you guys can see, he's clearly angry, but we've heard from our sources in the reserve that a lot of female gold digging monkeys have started approaching Naruto because of this lawsuit news suddenly popping up in the tabloids and all. And just imagine, what if he wins a lawsuit and then suddenly buys a big mansion in LA with the money and starts dating Kendall or Bruce Jenner, whichever he likes, or even belts out a new R&B album. 
So basically this thirsty leopard got his head stuck in a metal pot and this happened in Rajasthan, India and the forest officials had to tranquilize the animal, get his head out of the pot and then let him go out into the wild. See firstly when you talk about leopards, this is the image that comes to my head first. And I have a joke okay, so what do you call a leopard that uh, is stuck with his head in the metal pot? Deaf leopard! <laughs> So I know what happened okay, so I think the leopard got neutered and then the doctor being an Indian doctor didn't have that lamp kind of a thing to put around his neck so he must have been like uh, uh, Honey can I use this pot? Asha okay And then he takes the pot and just puts it around the leopard's neck But uh, this leopard, this is not the first time that he's actually got his head stuck in a pot He's got his head stuck in different things like uh, a turtle's shell and uh, the Iron Man suit uh, the International Space Station, a tank and uh, also Jay-Z's nose. And we knew that this is about to happen so we kind of fitted microphones in all the pots all over Rajasthan. So let's see what we got from that microphone. Oh shit, uh, where am I? Oh no, I shouldn't be drinking on <laughs> weekdays. Oh my god, I'll just sit down. Okay. Okay, good night. And we tried to ask a few of his leopard friends like what's the problem but they were like this guy is just too stuck up yaar. So this brings us to the end of Out of My Dreads episode 7. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr and yeah I'm Dread Indian everywhere. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe uh, and uh, I'm gonna go and eat something because I'm hungry and I think even Donald wants to eat something. Yeah no Donald? Yes. Yeah so okay I'll see you. Take care. Bye.